Hi, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How are you I'm today? Fine. Teacher. Nice. Ay. Estaré, estaré de oyente porque estoy un poco mal de la garganta. Vaya, y ven. Y el viernes no me pude conectar porque no tuve inter. No tuvo inter. No, no tuve desde como las cuatro no aquí en la casa. Uh. Así que tengo esa faltita ahí. Vaya. Justo hoy dije yo, ay Dios, a ver cómo nos va, porque se vino una tormenta tipo seis. Es y cierto. Ay, ¿no? Ah, fuerte. Que yo dije, no va a llover fuerte y quién sabe qué pase con la luz. Pero gracias a Dios, ¿verdad? Que, que ya pasó. Yo creo quizás como unos 20 minutos más o menos. Y se fue. ¿Verdad? Bueno. Ok. Let's see. Ok. Eight o'clock. Let's see the attendance of the day. Mm -hmm. Twenty-four. Eh, Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo. No here. <laughs> Cecilia del Carmen. Cecilia. Clarixa. Clarixa. Claudia Ivón. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo. Present teacher. Ok. Erika. Present teacher. ¿Qué pasó? algo. Okay. Bueno, sorry, que de repente se oyó como que algo cayó y, y no sabíamos qué era el gato. Ok, <ríe> Isaías Santana. Present. Y Iván del Cid. Iván. Y Elvira. Present. Jonathan. Good evening. Present. Jorge Alberto. Hey, hello, Rosy. Jorge Alberto, no here. Juan Antonio. Karen Leticia. 
Luis Enrique. Karen Leticia. Karen, no hay Karen. Luis Enrique. Uh -huh. Enrique Manuel Antonio Gracias, Miss Rosibel Present, teacher Sandra Elizabeth Sandra, Sandra Silvia sí, Estela. Silvia. Silvia López, present teacher. Ok, Silvia Inés. Sí, yeah. Vamos a ver si alguien se conectó después de que lo llamé. Carlos Alfredo. Cecilia del Carmen. Cecilia, Clarixa, Iván del Cid, Jorge Alberto, Juan Antonio, Carlos, Jorge, Juan, Juan, okay. eh, Karen Leticia, Luis Enrique, Cierren ese cuarto. Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra. Silvia. Cierren ahí que no se esté metiendo. De repente, gran bueno. <ríe> Las mascotas hacen averillas. Brincando desde arriba del closet a una caja donde tenemos flores porque estamos preparando arreglos para una moda. Y ella haciendo travesuras. <ríe> Pero de repente se oyó como que algo cayó. No sé qué pasó. Y después, después a saber qué tiró. Y después se tiró ella. Ahí fue el, la bulla más grande. Mi manita loca. Vaya. Ok. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? <ríe> ya luego de susto de gatos, ya estamos listos. Sí. Uh, today we are going to be talking about should how to use should and remember we use should when we want to give recommendation if we want to recommend something we use should right And the achievement, and the achievement, I get back in the morning, as you see, the class objective is by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use should to give advice. Uh, we have should or shouldn't, depending, verdad? Because we can give recommendation or advice in affirmative or in negative. If we want somebody, if we want to tell somebody not to do something, we shouldn't. But if we want somebody to do something, we say should, we should. Okay, well, last Friday, remember we were talking about imperatives. What are imperatives? 
imperatives. Mm -hmm. The sentence which is used to convey a command, a request, or a forbiddance. Check it. A command, a request, or a forbiddance is called imperative. This type of sentence always takes the second person, you, for the subject, but most of the time the subject remains active. Okay, so remember, when we say a command, a command is like an order. We tell somebody to do something, right? For example, we say, open the door, close the door, open the window, close the window, uh, write your name, raise your hand. Those are commands, right? Uh, when we want somebody, or we want to make a, a request, like asking somebody to do something, but like in the way of an order, we use a command too. And also when we want to, Forbid, uh, forbid is prohibir, right? When we want to forbid something, uh, we use a command uh, or an, an imperative. In that case, we use a negative imperative. For example, we say, don't, don't open the door. Don't open <clears throat> the door. Don't speak loud. Don't go out. Don't cross this line. In that case, that is a, a forbidden, right? That's a forbidden. And then if we're talking about a forbidden, that is, of course, negative. Yeah? Any question? That's about last class. Questions? Eso, disculpe, teacher, buenas noches. Eh, noche. eh, con, buenas noches, me había conectado un muchito porque por la cosa de la lluvia, un poquito, había llovido un poco, pero este, con eso, con los, hablando de los imperativos, oraciones con imperativos, dice, son los ejemplos que usted ha dado de, de open the door o close the window, todo eso lo que usted estaba mencionando, son ejemplos. Son ejemplos de imperativos, exacto. Mm, okay. Esos son imperatives. Mm, okay. ¿Verdad? Imperatives. Imperatives. Okay. Bueno, that was the refreshing last class. Today uh, we are going to talk about should. When Good you... evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Año de no ver a Luis Enrique. Hi, Miss. ¿Cómo está? I'm great. Thanks. Ya, ya, mejor. Eh, es que no era yo, Miss. Era mi hija. Ah. Pero era, era lo mismo, no se ver él y todo. Sí, sí, sí. Pues. Ya, cuando ya uno va a visto, pues, ya pesa más hasta el desvelo. Ah, no, pues, claro. Claro, claro que sí. Y hasta el enferma uno ya de los temelos. Hasta ah. las once llega a cabal. Hasta ah. las once y media. Yo aún hasta las doce ah. logro llegar ah. y no me pasa nada. Pero uh -huh. me paso a la una de la mañana o a las dos de la mañana, <coughs> me arruino. Yo admiro a la gente que pasa de noche despierta y al día siguiente andan fresco. Yo no. Yo hasta, Como la... si nada. Uh -huh. hasta las 12 le llego tranquila. Hasta las 11 soy feliz. ¿Verdad? Porque aunque no tenga clase, yo igual me duermo a las 10 y media, 11. Hasta las 12, más o menos tolerable. Pero después de las 12, ya no. Ya, 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 ya ese es otro. Otro rumbo, ya. Sí. <ríe> ya, ya no es lo mismo. Sí. Ahí, joven era okay, espero. ¿Verdad, joven era peor? Espero Pero recuperar los videos. Mejor. Sí, sí, no, ahí puede ver los videos, ¿verdad? Para que se nos ponga. Claro, claro. 
al día y lo bueno es que en este curso hasta ahorita los temas que hemos tocado tan fácil. Okay. okay, so today we're giving advice, right? Remember what I told you, we can make, a, a, we can give advice in affirmative or in negative, right? The ones that you see here in the conversation are only affirmative, but it doesn't mean that you only make affirmative uh, advice. You can also use negative to give advice. Okay, let's read the conversation. Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? I believe so. I believe so. Why, Why do you ask? Why do you ask? I, uh, because if we do so, we reduce, we do. We reduce costs. Just <laughs> me enrolló la lengua. <laughs> because if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. I think that we should do what all the companies are doing. Are doing. Are doing. And what that is? And, and what is, is that? Is, and that is, and that is, what is getting what new is, equipment. And what is? Getting, getting new equipment. Getting new, getting new equipment. Even in new I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. I mean, I mean we should, uh, should not have, have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. We should be in the 21st century. Right, maybe we should talk right. about that in the next meeting. Right, maybe, maybe we should maybe we talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, one more time. Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? Berta. Do you think that our company should improve that manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? I believe so. We do ask. Because if we do so, we reduce costs. Because if we do so, it reduces costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. I see I that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is? And that is? That is getting new equipment. Getting new equipment. 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 Repeat, repeat, repeat. Equipment. Repeat. Equipment. 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 I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same program. Machines. 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 We should be in the 21st century. We should be in the 
Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay, good. Well, I'm going to send you to work in pairs, practice the conversation, and then say if these statements are true or false, and, and check which says why, right? Well, no. Hmm. There is no way to say true or false here. How is the manufacturing pro process in your company? What do you think about the equipment at your company? Does it need to be upgraded? Upgraded means that it should be improved, okay? That's when we talk about machines. If we think that it should be improved, we say uh, upgraded, okay? So ask the questions to your partners. Let's go, practice the conversation. And then ask and answer the questions about your point. 